Inematov. 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 Inematov umanaim. Inematov umanaim. Inematov umanaim. Inematov umanaim. Evetachim. Evet achim kamiachat. Ine matov manaim shevet achim kamiachat. Ine matov manaim shevet achim kamiachat. Ine matov manaim. Shevetachim gam yachad. Ine matov. Shevetachim gam yachad. Ine matov. Shevetachim gam yachad. Ine matov umanaim. Shevetachim gam yachad. Ine matov umanaim. Shevetachim gam yachad. And when Yeshua had finished all these discourses, he said to his Talmudim, You know not that after two days is the Pesach, and the human one will be delivered up. Then were assembled the Kohanim and the great ones of the people to the court of the chief Kohen, who was called Kayafa. And they held counsel how they might secure Yeshua and slay him. And they said, Let it not be on the feast day, lest there be a tumult amongst the people. And as Yeshua was in one Beit Anya in the house of Shimon the leper, there drew near to him a woman having in her hand a flask of precious balsam. And she poured upon his head as he reclined. The Talmudim saw, and they were vexed, and said, To what purpose is this waste? For this oil could have been sold for much and given to the poor. Yeshua knew and said to them, Why grieve you this woman? A good work has she wrought upon me. For the poor will be with you in all time, but I will not be with you in all time. For this woman who's poured this balsam upon my body as unto my funeral has done. Hame, I say unto you, whosoever this my truth shall be proclaimed in all the world. So this that she has done will be told for her memorial. Then went one from the twelve, and it was he named Yehuda from Scriot, and went unto the chief Kohenim and said to them, What will you give me 
and I will deliver him unto you. And they allotted to him 30 pieces of silver. And from that time, he sought opportunity to betray him. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hashare. Malachi Elyon. And in the first day of the Feast of the Unleavened Bread, the Talmudim came near to Yeshua, saying, Where shall we prepare for you to eat the Pesach? And he said, Go you into the city to such a one and say to him, The teacher has said, My time is at hand. And with you, I'm to keep the Pesach with my Talmudim. And the Talmudim did as Yeshua commanded and prepared the Pesach. And when it was evening, he reclined with them. And as they did eat, he said, Amen. I say unto you, that one from you will betray me. And they were very sad and began to say to him one by one, Am I he, Rabbi? Am I he, Rabbi? Am I he, Rabbi? But he answered, One who dips his hand with me in the dish, that same one will also betray me. But woe to that man by whom the human one shall be betrayed. Better had it been for that man had he not been born. Then Yehuda, who betrayed him, answered and said, Am I he, Rabbi? And he said to him, You have said. And while they were eating, Yeshua took the bread and blessed. Laru. Adonai Eloheinu Ruach HaOlam Chamotzi and broke. And gave it to his Talmudim and said, Take you and eat of this, which is my body. This 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 
This is my body. This is my body. And he took the cup and blessed. and gave it to them, saying, Think of this, all of you. This is my blood. 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 It is of the covenant, shed for the multitudes for the atonement of sins. But I say unto you hereafter, I will no longer drink of the fruit of the vine until that day and I shall drink it with you anew in my Father's kingdom. Shalom. 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 Shalom Aleinu And they sang praises and went forth onto the Mount of Olives Yahse Shalom. Yahse Shalom. Shalom Aleinu. Yako Israel. Yahse Shalom. Yahse Shalom. Shalom Aleinu. Yako Israel. Then Yeshua said unto them, All you will desert me in this night. It is written, smite the shepherd and the sheep shall be scattered. But after I am risen, I will go into Galil before you. Then answered Petrus and said to him, Though every man shall desert you, I never will desert you. And Yeshua said to him, Amen. I say unto you that in this night before the cock shall crow, three times shall you deny me. Then Petrus said to him, Even if I am to die with you, I will not deny you. 
And so likewise said all the Tamadim. We will not deny you. We will we not will deny, deny you. We will, we will not deny, deny you. you. We will, not, we will deny not deny you. Then came Yeshua with them unto the place whose name was Geshemanim and said to his Talmudim, Await you here while I go yon to pray. And he took with him Petrus and the two sons of Zabdi, and he began to be grieved and downcast. And then he said unto them, My throat is afflicted unto death. Wait me here and watch with me. And he removed a little and fell upon his face and prayed, saying, Abba, Father, for you all things are possible. Allow this cup to pass from me. Let it be done, but let it not be done as I will, but as thou wilt. And he came on to his Talmudim and found them sleeping and said unto Petrus, could you not for a single hour watch with me? Awake and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is watchful, but the flesh is lacking. He went away again the second time and prayed and said, Father, if this cup not pass away from me, but I need must drink it, be it as thou wilt. And he came again and found them sleeping, for their eyes had become heavy. And he went away again and prayed the third time and said the same word. Then came he to his Talmudim and said to them, You have slept now and taken your rest. Lo, the hour comes wherein the human one will be delivered into the hands of sinners. Awake, arise, and let us go. He draws near who betrays me. While he was still speaking, behold, one of the twelve came, Yehuda, and a great multitude with him, with swords and spears, from the chief Kohanim and the elders of the people. Now, Yehuda, who betrayed him, had given to them a sign and said, Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he. Secure you him. And forthwith he approached Yeshua and said, Shalom, Rabbi. And kissed him. But he, Yeshua, said to him, Beloved, wherefore have you come? Then they came and laid hands on Yeshua and seized him. And behold, one of them, which was with Yeshua, put forth his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the chief Kohen and took off his ear. 
then said Yeshua to him, Return thy sword to his place. For every one of them who take up the sword shall perish by the sword. Think you that I cannot request from my father and he shall send on my behalf more than 12 legions of angels. But how then will the prophecy be fulfilled? which is written that in this way it must be done. And Yeshua said to the multitudes, As against the robber with swords and spears, if you come to secure me, every day in temple sat I beside you and taught you, and you seize me not. But all this has come to pass to fulfill the words of the prophets. Then all the Talmudim forsook him and fled. So they seized Yeshua and led him to Kayafa, the chief Kohen, where the scribes and the elders were gathered together. And Petrus followed him. <laughs> afar off, and entered into the house and sat with the menials that he might see the end. Now, the chief Kohenim and the whole council sought against Yeshua witnesses to deliver him up to death. But they found none. And many witnesses of falsehood came. But last, Two came near and said, He said, I can tear down the temple of El. And before three days, rebuild it. Then the chief Kohen arose and said to him, Answer thou nothing at all concerning these witnesses against you. But Yeshua answered nothing but was silent. And the chief Kohen said to him, I adjure you by the living Elohim that you declare whether you are Mashiach, the son of Elohim. And Yeshua answered and said, You have said, therefore I say unto you, and for you will see him, the human one, that sits on the right hand of the power, coming on the water carriers of heaven. Then the chief Kohen rent his garments, saying, He has blasphemed. What further need have we of witnesses? Behold, you have heard now this blasphemy. What will you? And they answered and said, He is condemned to death. He is condemned to death. He is condemned to death. Condemned to death. He is, he is condemned, condemned, to death. condemned to death. Then they did spit in his face and smote him with the fist. And others put their hands upon his face, saying, prophesy unto us, O Moshiach, who is he that assails you? Uh -huh. 
Now Petrus sat without in the court, and there approached him a maid servant, saying, You too were with Yeshua the Nazrati. But he denied in the sight of all and said, I know not what you say. And when he had gone out the door, another saw him and said to them that were there, he also was there with Yeshua the Nazrati. And again, he denied with oaths and said, I know not the man. But after a while, they that stood there drew near and said to Petrus, In truth, you are one of them. For thy tongue reveals thee. Then began he to curse and to swear. I know not that man. And in that hour, the cock crowed. <laughs> and Petrus remembered the word of Yeshua, who had said to him, Before the cock shall crow. Before the cock shall crow. Three times will you have denied me. Three times will you have denied me. And he went without and wept bitterly. <sighs> And it came to pass in the morning that all the chief Kohenim and elders of the people were in a conclave together concerning Yeshua in order to condemn him to death. And they bound him and led him away and delivered him to Pilatos, the governor. Then Yehuda, who had betrayed him, when he saw that Yeshua was condemned to death, he repented and brought again the 30 pieces of silver which had been given him and gave them to the chief Kohanim and elders saying, I sinned. I have betrayed innocent blood. But they said, What is that to us? You see to it. And he cast down the silver into the temple. And with a rope, hung himself from a tree. And the chief Kohenim took up the pieces of silver and said, It is not lawful to cast it into the place of offering. 
It is the price of blood. And they took counsel and bought with it the field of the potter for the burial place of strangers. Wherefore the field has been called tent of blood to this day. Then was fulfilled that which had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. And I say unto them, if it be good in your eyes, make out my wages, and if not, forbear. And they weigh out my hire, thirty silverlings. And the Lord saith unto me, cast it unto the potter. This is that man who forms clay. Now Yeshua was standing before the governor, and the governor questioned him, saying, Are you king of the Judeans? And Yeshua answered him, You have said. And while the chief Kohanim and elders slandered him, he answered them nothing. Then said Pilatos to him, Knew you not the testimony which they witness against you? But he answered him nothing, no, not a single word. And upon this the governor marveled greatly. Now, at every feast day, it was the custom for the governor to release one of the bound unto the people, whomsoever they would. But there was then bound with the rebels one prisoner whose name was called Barabba, who had fought and killed during the uprising. Therefore, when they were assembled, Pilatus said to them, Homeless you that I release unto you, Baraba, or Yeshua, who is the Moshiach. For Pilatus knew that from malice they had delivered him up. And when he had sat down on his judgment seat, his wife sent to him, saying, let there be no matter between you and this man of righteousness, for much have I suffered in a vision this day on his account. But the chief Kohanim and elders persuaded the multitude that he should release to them Araba and destroy Yeshua. And the governor answered and said to them, which of the two wish you that I release unto you? And they said, Araba. 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 And Pilatos said unto them, And to Yeshua, who is called Moshiach, what shall I do with him? And they all answered and said, Let him be killed. Let him be killed. Pilatos said to them, Why? What evil has he done? But they clamored the more and cried, Let him be killed. And Pilatos, when he saw nothing veiled, but that the tumult became greater, took waters and washed his hands before the assembly and said, I am innocent of the blood of this righteous one. See you to it. 
then released he to them the rabba. But delivered Yeshua to them to be scourged with whips. And hung upon the beam. And then the soldiers of the governor took Yeshua and delivered him to them in the judgment hall and gathered to him the whole crowd. And they stripped him and invested him in a cloak of crimson and encircled his head with thorns for a crown and placed a reed in his right hand and bowed their knees before him and mocked him, saying, Shalom Aleichem, King of the Judeans. And they did spit upon him and took the reed and smote him on the head. And after that, they had derided him. They stripped him of his cloak and clothed him in his own garments and led him away to be hung on a cross. <laughs> And when they had gone forth, they found a man of Karanoia, Shimon by name, and compelled him to carry his crossbeam. And when they had come to the place, which is termed Golgotha, which is expounded, the skull, they gave him wine mingled with gall. And when he had tasted, he would not drink. Amen. Amen. And when they had crucified him, they parted his garments and cast lots to fulfill that which was spoken by the mouth of the prophet, who said, they parted my garments amongst them and upon my vesture did they cast lots. And they sat down and watched him there. And they set his sentence above his head. And thus it was written. Yeshua Natsrati. Yeshua Natsrati. King of the Judeans. King of the Judeans. Then were impaled 
and hung beside him two rebels. One on his right hand. And one on his left hand. And all they that passed by were reviling him, nodding their heads, saying, You that lay waste the temple of Elohim. And in three days build it. Deliver yourself. If you be the son of Elohim. Come down from the cross beam. And likewise, the chief Kohanim reviled him with the scribes and elders, saying, He saved others, but himself he cannot save. If he be the king of Israel, let him now descend from this cross, that we may see and believe in him. He trusted in Aloha, let him deliver him now, if he delight in him. For he said, I am the Barat de Aloha. And so, likewise, the thieves, which were hung beside him, reproached him. Kalisha Lamayuto. Now, from the sixth hour, there was darkness upon all the land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Yeshua cried with a loud voice and said, <laughs> And certain of them that stood by when they heard and said, he calls for Eliyahu. He calls for Eliyahu. And forthwith ran one from them and took the sponge and filled it with vinegar and set it upon a reed and gave him to drink. But the rest said, Let it be. Let us see whether Eliyahu will come to deliver him. Then Yeshua cried again in a loud voice. And yielded up his spirit. Is Gadal, is Gadash, me Rabba, Yama de Brahu, save Yam Lif Malfus. Israel, Amen. And at once, the veil of the temple was rent in twain. From above to beneath, 
is Kara. And the earth did quake. Abaf is Parvis Ramandis Nase. And the rocks were riven. Is Adarvis Alevis Allah. And the house of the buried was opened. And many of those asleep in the dust of the land did arise. And came forth from their graves. And afterward lived. Entered into the holy city. And were revealed to many. Amen. Amen. Shalom bin Roman, Uya se shalom aleinu, Yaakov Israel bin Ru, Amen. And the centurions, which were the, with Yeshua to guard him, when they saw the commotion and those things which had come to pass, were exceedingly afeared and said, Truly, this was a son of the gods. Now, many women were there, beholding from afar those who had followed Yeshua from Galil, serving unto him, among whom was Miriam from Magdala, and Miriam bat Yaakov, and the mother of Yosef, and the mother of the sons of Zabdi. And when it was evening, there came a rich man from Haramatayim, whose name was Yosef, and he also was a Talmud of Yeshua. And he went unto Pilatos and begged for the body of Yeshua. Then Pilatos commanded the body of Yeshua to be given. And Yosef took the body of Yeshua and wound it round in a cloth of pure linen, and laid it in a new house of burial, which was hewn out of the rock. Then they rolled a great stone and heaped it against the door, and went their way. And sitting over against the house of burial, Miriam from Magdala, and the other Miriam. There wait. It's Amen. 
וכל נתיבותיך. שלום. אשיבנו אדוני אליך ונשובו שלום. 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 שלום.